Hi bees, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about all about the T's seven exam. I'm gonna share with you guys my journey, how I got here, what are my plans after taking the T7. I feel like a lot of people normally just talk about how you pass, but how do you get like the information from schools and how do you get to get into a specific nursing program. It is really tricky, especially for somebody who maybe is a first year graduate of their family or you know, no one else is a nurse and able to help you. I am definitely in that boat. My sister had, did not go to nursing school. She went to a completely different area and my parents are Hispanic. So they don't really know about this type of stuff, especially because they don't talk English. They mostly talk Spanish and it's really difficult so i had to figure it out on my own through counseling through research so i'm just going to share with you guys my knowledge on how i got to where i am today and how much information i actually have i also want to talk about how studying has been for me and about burnout how lazy sometimes i i am and how much time i have left to study and when i have my exam so let's just go ahead and get right into the video Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is my exam. So I originally was supposed to take this exam back in November and I did not end up taking it. I got really scared, didn't end up taking it, rescheduled like I think in January, rescheduled it for February, I think in March. I rescheduled it a handful of times because I was not taking it serious and it's okay to say that your first time around whenever you're studying sometimes you don't take it serious and for me I didn't want to fail on purpose because I knew I wasn't studying I wasn't doing anything to make sure that I was gonna pass my first time around so I went ahead and I just rescheduled a bunch of times um, normally your T's exam um, like purchases or your little ticket that you have expire within six months so for me my six months is up in August and what I ended up doing is I originally had my date set for August 9th and unfortunately I have not finished the site the math section of studying and I was doing a little bit more research in some of the nursing programs that I have want that I want to apply to they open up in August and they close September 30th and that is for the spring of 2023 um, and so I thought okay I need to pass it in August obviously that's when my ticket expires and I actually started doing a lot of research on the schools for me I am not applying to universities because a lot of them don't accept first year LVNs um, they normally accept like uh, I think two year uh, I think there's only two schools in my area that accept first year. So I'm going to be going to a community college nursing program, which there's nothing wrong with that. I will be transferring out after my two years. So yeah, <laughs> it's a little confusing. Also, I did want to mention I don't get any financial aid. So everything is going to be coming out of pocket for me. I don't have any kids. I'm not married. So I'm technically still under my parents tax bracket which sucks because they make a decent amount of money that I don't get any more financial aid or at all I used to have um, the first two years for free um, and then I had I had to start paying so the next thing that I want to talk about is how do you start doing research what do you guys what are you guys specifically looking for? Because that was definitely a question for me. A lot of the schools, let's say you go to your counselor for your school, most of the schools are to tell you, you need to do your own research. We don't have information on that. They don't have, they only have information about their specific school, nobody else. So you really have to venture out and do your own research. So what I started off with was I started writing down all of the community colleges that are near me. You don't want to have such a small amount of schools that you want to apply to because nursing is such an impacted career path that they only accept maybe like 10 students a year 20 students a year 30 students a year depending on the different school they accept just like a very small percentage of people who apply and so i wrote down a whole list of schools maybe like 10 of them to apply to i wrote down when their uh, applications date starts opening i did this under a google docs 
Um, I will be cleaning up and probably doing it under an XL so I can keep everything organized, but I do it under a docs. And so I wrote down when their application dates open up, whether they I need to have my T's exam in order to apply. Because some schools, they don't require you to have it before you apply, only because they want you to have it after you get accepted to a nursing school. And that's one of the situations with the one of the schools that I'm applying to, which is Long Beach Community College. They only accept one T's exam. And if you don't pass it, you have to go to a um, academic program for it to redeem yourself and it's a little bit more stressful and it is going to be 10 times harder to get into that specific school but for Long Beach they actually open up their applications starting August and that's the specific school that you do not need to have um, your T's exam right then and there when applying. Um, also when you are going to your different schools to look up which ones you want to apply to make sure you go under the list of class requirements um, to see if you meet their criteria a lot of schools require you to take a medical terminology class some of them don't but maybe there is one and just because you haven't taken that one you're not able to apply maybe you can take it during the spring semester or the summer or take a short term fall of medical terminology that way you're able to apply and you don't have to rule that one out. Next thing that I normally do is I like to write down um, the emails of the counseling um, department for nursing because I like to email them and ask them questions, introduce myself, um, and maybe there's something on their website that doesn't isn't really specific. For example, East Los Angeles Community College, they don't have a lot of information on their website. It's just basically a welcoming, thank you for coming, like and read this information, just a brief description of what their nursing program is, but it doesn't have any of the information of class requirements, what you need, um, whether you need an ATATs uh, exam be prior to applying. And so what I did is I went and personally emailed them and I wrote everything down that they answered answered me most of them will answer you within two, two days which is great I know a lot of colleges don't really pick up their phone so emailing is the best way to go that way you don't waste your time calling different schools and you can have everything already written down and you can just copy and paste it into your docs so the next thing that I want to talk about is um, how do I get more information now you have the information that your counselor is providing to you let's say you're ready to start applying to your colleges or your universities for the nursing program a lot of the universities or colleges they are requiring you to take a workshop um so i actually for long beach signed up for a workshop that is going to be coming up here in the next few weeks um and it's basically to be all informational you will have a chance to ask questions based on whatever you have like an inquiry about they have like a section at the very end and that is just information for you to have to make sure that you're prepared the day of that you want to start applying and that way when you do apply you don't apply and not have everything ready and unfortunately you don't get selected because let's say you're missing information or you're delayed in applying because you don't have all the requirements that they're asking for and so you know then that window closes and then you have to wait until they start opening for fall or for spring depending on when you're applying um, so definitely always keep a master list of when everything opens up make sure you sign up for those workshops make sure you go on their website make sure you start emailing all their counselors to get answers to your questions that way you're the most knowledgeable about each specific school because you don't want to go into something not knowing that you needed you know to only pass once I didn't know that until I looked it up um, and then some schools, depending on the state that you live in, you don't have to take a ATIST's ex 7 exam. That's a mouthful. <laughs> you, they might accept the HESI test without the science section or with science section or without the math section. It depends. Please do your research because you will be surprised on how many schools are different and differ from one another. And you don't want to have, like I said, the wrong information about the school and you could have easily applied if you would have known like in the work like before applying 
Um, okay, so now that I want to talk about is the studying portion, what I'm using, what has been beneficial for me, because I'm just going to say this now. I am a person who is extremely lazy. I hate studying. I've never been good at it. In high school, I would study, 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 and I would never be able to retain that information. The next day I can go in and not know anything that is on my test because I just don't retain information like that and I've never been good at it. So now that I'm studying, it's a lot easier because it's almost like you're studying by yourself with when I was using, or it's almost like studying by yourself because I'm using Nurse Hub. It is literally one of my favorite things that I've ever used and I talk about this um, website every single one of my videos that I do. Um, I talk about their website all the time in videos like these because I cannot stress this enough. It has helped me so much with the math section. I have not started the science, so I don't know how it is with that. But $20 a month to have already everything that you need to have, all the information just basically given to you, all you have to do is study and learn the material. Instead of just reading from the Mama Matrix book or different books or looking at flashcards, Everything is in there and you can watch a 10 minute video about this specific subject and then they give you a questionnaire, a test at the end with 20 questions and at first I was completing all 20 questions but now since I'm getting towards the end of the subjects, I'm only doing 10 of the questions and if I feel like I get all 10 correctly, I go to the very last one which is normally the hardest question for them, I go ahead and do it, and if I get that one right, I don't take the entire test because I'm like, okay, I understand this material. I don't need to take 10 more questions or nine more questions if it's just gonna be repetitive. So that's why I like it because it's lesson, test, lesson, test. And even though it gets really repetitive, it engraves this in your head where you have to remember uh, conversions, where you have to remember how to change a decimal to a percentage or a percentage to decimal, how to use fractions. I was so horrible at fractions. And if this sounds like gibberish to you and you're like, oh my God, I have no idea how to do any of those, go to Nurse Hub. I know that YouTube is free and everything you can access, but the thing is, is that you are gonna get overwhelmed because you're like, oh my God, I have a lot to study. You can get confused. You can maybe miss a step. And this one goes in order. That way it's easiest for you to understand what you're working in in math. Everything ties in together. Whereas in YouTube, everything's kind of jumbled up. And I've noticed that not a lot of uh, YouTubers who do like math is um, like organized where they section it off from, okay, you're gonna do this video first, then this, then this and that. So it's really good. I forgot to mention to make sure you go uh, and talk to your school counselors because a lot of them, also have free workshops where it's basically a non-credit class that you can attend to a couple of days out of the week and they help you pass the T's exam by going over the math section, the reading section, the science section, all of the sections for the T's exam. And it's 100% free, at least it was for my class. Um, so definitely go look and research. You don't have to go and pay somebody 600 or a thousand dollars there is free resources and cheaper alternatives as well so always do your research go to your counselor talk to them ask them if there is any classes that you guys can take to help you prep for the exam so for the science section i have not started it so i am unable to tell you what i'm doing for that i will be using nurse hub to continue on um to see if i'm able to understand it through nurse hub but i know nurse chang i know a lot of people are recommending her a uh, science with suzanne um i also am going to be leaving a link down below to a group on facebook who have helped who has helped me a lot it's a basically thousands and thousands of people who are part of this community who are trying to become nurses and they're also in the same boat as you are if you guys have any questions literally just go ahead and type it in and people will be more than happy to help you out and give you your honest their honest opinion and some people have already passed the T's exam and they're willing to share their experiences on how they were able to pass not everyone studies the same not everyone you know process information the same so thankfully through that group i've been able to get to where i am now i feel confident that i will be passing it my first time around and if i don't then you know i have more time to study so 
you know, it's all about having confidence and being able to um, make sure that you are going in it with the best knowledge as possible. And you're like, okay, I need to go in knowing this information. That way I have everything set and ready for these dates so I can apply to these schools. So yeah that is basically all the information that i wanted to give you guys i feel like a lot of my videos my past three have not been really informational i've just been sharing like little snippets here and there but not a lot of people really talk about the process and like what you're supposed to do how you get information how do you know when to apply first of all and yeah this is just basically what this video is about if you guys have any questions that i did not answer in this video leave it down below i'll be more than happy to answer your questions and um i also will be leaving a link to a bunch of people who are here on youtube if you guys don't want to spend the 20 dollars a month on nurse hub i'll be leaving a lot of stuff uh videos down below people that rec are being recommended constantly for reading and writing math science um and the language portion Everything will be down there. Everything will be accessible to you guys because I want you guys to have the best possible outcome like I'm giving myself. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and bye peace.